We now turn to employee turnover. So what influences mobility? Uh, what factors? So we talked about who moves. Now let's talk about what causes people to move. Now mobility can take place between location, but it can also take place within a location to where they move from one job to another. And there can be quitting or being fired in those cases. So what influences that? What causes people to leave one job and go to another? Well, the first is wages. And this is a pretty simple one. Higher wages means less likely to quit. If you're making more money at a job, you're less likely to leave that job. The industry is also a big factor. And um, in addition to the industry, the um, firm size. So when we look at the table here, you can see, and this is the monthly quit weight rates, um, the larger the firm size, the smaller, in general, the quit rates. Now, this may go right back into the wages because larger firms are able to pay their workers better. Um, but within larger firms as well, there's also more uh, opportunities. Uh, there's more opportunities to move up, more opportunities for um, different benefits or to get recognized, so forth. Gender also plays a role. Generally, women quit more than men do. Now, this is a case of is it the chicken or the egg, but normally firms don't invest in as much in women as they do in men as far as training. And the, the way the gender pay gap has been discussed, it's always being discussed. Um, and so it's a case of do women not get paid or do women move more between jobs so they don't get paid more or do they move between jobs because they don't get paid as much? The third factor that affects employee turnover is just the market. So as the market is good, when the labor market is good, when unemployment is low, as we see here, you're going to see high quit rates. Because when you have a tighter labor market, people are better able to move from one job to another. Um, on the other hand, when the unemployment rate is high, there's a lot of people looking for work that can't find it. It's a more competitive job market. Um, there's an excess supply of labor. Then people are going to be less likely to quit because they may not be able to find a job as easily. Okay, so that's why you see these, I guess, counter cyclical effects here. Uh, country is also a case. So, in general, where you live, um, there's different culture and there's different beliefs. And so, for example, in the United States, and this is as of 1995, so it's a little bit outdated, uh, but on average, men had an average tenure with their current employer of 7.9 years and women 6.8 years. Uh, if you look at men, again, 7.9 years. Countries like Japan, the average tenure with an employer was 12.9. Germany, 10.6 years. France, 11. Um, Australia did have a lo little bit lower uh, at 7.1 years. Uh, and then with women, it was, it, it was similar. Uh, the, the differences aren't as large as with men. Um, but the United States still tends to be on the lower end as far as tenure of women workers. So for all these, all these factors affect turnover, the likelihood of quitting uh, voluntarily or being fired for that matter.